This wedding means everything to Spinelli. This is a sign of his love for Maxi, a commitment for the rest of his life. He wants every detail to be perfect. You are his best friend and his best man. You need to support that. He wants me to wear a pink tie. This is about a tie. Yeah, I wear, I wear ties to court. Uh-uh, you wore a tie to Jackson Carly's wedding. That, that was a black tie. Come on, Jason, this obviously means a lot to I, him. I understand, but you know, Spinelli's like a kid. Sometimes you just have to say no. Okay, yeah, I agree. Sometimes. This is not the time. Maybe when he's in a dangerous situation or something like that. This is about a tie. It's not going to ruin the wedding if <laughs> I wear a black tie. Wait a minute, hold on. Spinelli lives in a pink room. A room that you could have changed color at any point in the course of this kid living here, and you didn't, and he never complained about it, and it doesn't make him any less of a man. Just think about it. In as much as the jacket would would like his nuptials to be a joyous celebration for all and in deference to my abiding affection for my most and loyal and best of friends. Do not fear, we shall choose neckwear of a darker hue. Just give me the tie. I can't get married with any other kind. Really? Okay. Great. <laughs> Thank you. See you tomorrow. Hi. It's Maxie. I'm checking on my Mila Lorente shoes because they haven't arrived and I just can't walk down the aisle in any... They came? Both of them? What? You're right. They're here. Lulu signed for them. Thank you. <laughs> what could you possibly want? Wow, aren't we a little tense? Aren't brides supposed to be all happy and blushing? I'm busy. Take the hint. You're scared, aren't you? Wow, getting married is the last possible thing on earth you want to be doing right now. How about I say this in monosyllables for you? Get out. But today's your lucky day. I'm here to save you. Arigato. Yeah. Uh, sayonara. Shishimasu. The Jack Lowe's Stone Cold stance that he can never repay. Time and again, you've saved my life. You, you've guided me and, and, and taught me about manly courage and all the while allowing me to be to feel useful in my chosen field of cyberspace. I, I, you've made me feel valued and, and, and trusted, and you've made sacrifices, and the sacrifice that you made today hey, is... Stop. It's just a tie. Yeah. You, you looked great. Fair Samantha sentiment and Stone Cold Sacrifice, they're much appreciated. Now I know in my heart that nothing can spoil this wedding. The Bahamas. The Bahamas. Look, my buddy has a house on the beach. We're going to fly there. We'll buy everything we need once we land. And we'll come back in two weeks. This whole thing will have just blown over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, sorry. I'm not going anywhere with you or anyone else because tomorrow I'm marrying Spinelli. Yeah. You sure about that? Mm-hmm. And the wedding is going to be amazing. Uh, Malaysian flowers, gorgeous dress, Nila Lorente shoes. And as soon as this perfect wedding is over, you're going to be staring at a long, dark hallway of the rest of your life. Would you stop being so depressing just because you're not the marrying kind? Oh, and neither are you. Oh, okay, Robin and Patrick's wedding, right? You made it very clear that you were very happy for them, but you were not into the whole settling down thing. Well, that was... Then, and this is now. This is now what? You, you had all these dreams and aspirations. You wanted to go traveling. You wanted to start your own fashion magazine and have fun. And Spinelli's not going to understand that. And you would. You know, 
know, look, we're young. We uh, we deserve to be having fun. And if you're gonna have to tell Spinelli this, you know, he's gonna give you his puppy dog eyes, and then you're gonna give in because you don't want to hurt his feelings. So it would just be so much more considerate to leave him at the altar. Better to rip the bandage off all at once. That is the most selfish, awful, inconsiderate thing I have ever heard. And yet you're considering it. You know, <laughs> I used to be that type of person that would do something that horrible, but I've changed, and it's because of Spinelli. He loves me, and I love him. And tomorrow, I'm gonna prove that. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Oh, great, I am cut off my ears and bird seed bundles, but I'm out of ribbon. Uh, <laughs> More ribbon. Oh, aren't you helpful? Thank yes. you. How are you? Where's Max? Give me a kiss. He uh, went back to the station. Oh, thank goodness. He makes me freaked out when he's dressed like that. I know, but he's he's worried about Maxie. I mean, come on. Felicia left him and to raise two kids all by himself. I know, and he's done a great job. He has. We know that. We all know that. But he still worries about Maxie. I mean, now that Georgie's gone, she's really the only one that he has to worry about. And he wants her life to be perfect. And he holds himself personally responsible for that. Yeah, but Max is a growing up. Her life is her own. He knows that in his head, but not in his heart. Maybe I should talk to him. Really? And say what? No, I, like I said, Max is a grown up. She, she can make her own choices, like, you know, like he did with you. Are you kidding? I seem to remember him um, handcuffing you until I agreed to marry you. So you only married me because you were forced into it? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely? I have argued with my Uncle Mac about everything in life, but you know what? He's usually right. He was right about you. <laughs> You're a sucker. I know you hate the suit and tie, but... You did look great. I promise. Well, that. you you were right. More in the tie is really not a big deal, and it does mean so much to Spinelli. You would have come to your own conclusion on that. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You are really a good friend to him. You are. I can remember when we were opening up the agency and you gave me that long lecture and you were like, you have to be good to Spinelli and make sure you keep him safe and happy. <laughs> so he's lucky to have you as the best man. So. About the wedding. Yeah? Um, I mean, when are, are you planning to get there? No, I really haven't thought about it. You probably have to be there really early. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stuff that I, I'm going to have to... Will you go with me? Yeah. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> 